bike garage today. We're picking up a bike just out of nowhere. Ended up in a, at a local bike shop here in St. Charles, Illinois. And uh, the owner, Sammy, is like, hey, I got a bike you're gonna like, which is rare, because usually, you know, he doesn't have uh, vintage bikes, but this time he did. Let me show it to you. All right, it's all ready to go. This is a Pinarello Treviso. And he's telling me it's no old stock. I don't know if it's no old stock or not. But if you look at it, which we'll uh, do some close-ups, uh, I think it might be. If not, it has very few miles. And it came with two sets of wheels, and both are actually represented on this bike. You can see small flange hubs with a Wolver Aero rim, which would have been apropos for the year. And the rear is a large flange hub with a matrix uh, rim. Looks similar, but not the same. But it's coming with both wheel sets. Uh, there is a problem with this bike, and you'll see it when I go through the overview. Let's uh, get it back and put it on the rack. We are back at the shop, bought the Pinarello in. Let's take a good look at it. Beautiful day. Got to have the garage door open. All right. I did some research. This is most likely an 86 or so Pinarello Treviso course with Columbus SL tubing. Now my understanding is it's a second in line behind the Montello and I guess they had another like a team model and um, beautiful bike. Check out the chrome on that, that's beautiful. And the higher end bikes had more chrome in the rear stays. This one has a painted fork, or subsequent years or even previous years didn't have a painted fork, but of course the chrome fork crown. Some unusual things about this bicycle. First of all, the saddle and stem length. Well, the reason why is a gentleman bought this for his wife and they claim they only ridden it twice. Oh, there's a problem there too. What do you think that is? That shifter is not necessarily compatible with this derailleur system. I mean, it isn't, let's be clear. I think I got it to work, but not very well. It's probably gonna be switched back to a uh, super record shifter but yeah it's in wonderful shape you know it was sold to me like it's new old stock i mean i'm not stupid there's some scratches on the post but yeah i can see that someone buys it for their wife the wife doesn't ride it hence the veta saddle a little bit more comfortable for uh, a female rider and uh i need to put a new seat on that guys what do you think i should put on there how about one of these or this saddle right here. Not sure, I kind of think a white seat would look pretty cool. I also have this, but I don't know if that's the right era with the gel center. I don't think it is. What do you guys think? Put it in the comments section below. This 80 millimeter stem has to go. Probably replace it with 100. What do you guys think? Now the frame set isn't my size, so it's a wall hanger. Now the condition is beautiful. There's a little bit of yellowing here. I think that'll polish right out. Totally dig the way that they uh, put the blue in the script. Another thing about this model that everyone talks about are the decals. I'm thinking, oh man, these decals are in rough, rough shape when actually, from what I hear, they just fall right off the bicycle. A couple of people I know locally here are telling me this bike probably has not been ridden only because the decals are still intact. Kind of makes sense. And of course, that's from a work stand. I just hate it when people do that. There's no date code on the rear derailleur, but I was told, tell me what you guys think, that this crank was from 1996 the last year of the Nova record or super record crank, as you know it. This is pretty cool. I got a Regina chain and freewheel, and it's my only bike that I have that has a hollow rivet Regina chain. That's kind of cool. I don't know how much lighter it is, but it's kind of neat. 
And another reason why I think it's new old stock, I mean, this thing, there's no wear on anything. Hmm. Something's a little strange. Well, I think I'm going to change the shifter back to a super record. Probably a good idea. Yeah, look at the teeth on that gear. Those sprockets. Nothing. Barely a scratch. This is crazy. Incredible shape. Even the rims. These are hard anodized rims. Those brake shoes will rub off on here and actually rub the anodizing off. But look at this. Original turbo tires. The nibs are still on them, guys. Yeah, this baby was hung up in a garage or actually probably put in the basement and no one rode it. What a shame. Also, if you look at the crank, not a rub. Not one ounce of rub anywhere here. It's perfectly smooth. No evidence of uh, a thrown chain anywhere in here. about it for today guys thanks so much for watching please like this video and subscribe to the channel put this video in other forms you think it might be useful I'd greatly appreciate it thanks so much for watching we'll catch you next video I can never get that down when you hit the th it's supposed to go black like like that